everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having a fantastic weekend. It's sunny here up in the mountains. It's been a bit cold. Uh, we've had some rain this week, but other than that, it's been pretty good. As usual, I'll be talking about that more in the chicken and garden update. Go and watch it if you haven't yet. And if you hear lots of noise in the background, it's because Michael's here. Erin is on her way. We are going to be recording a review next week of the Subaru Solterra that the camera is currently sat on and it's all a little bit rushed because I was sick at the beginning of the week and so yeah we, we've had to shuffle stuff around and done filming in a strange way compared to what we would normally do but that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about lifespan of appliances and gadgets and how long you expect things to last. So uh, this week Apple is officially launching the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Pro Max and all of that stuff. Um, or the iPhone 16, the iPhone 16 Max, the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I think I got that right. And for my sins, I am upgrading my phone. Uh, my iPhone is now three years old and uh, my Apple Watch is also three years old. My Apple Watch has started to, to fail in terms of its battery, and uh, Apple makes it kind of difficult to replace the batteries, although its newest uh, iPhone, apparently, uh, is gonna be better at that. Fingers crossed. And kind of every three years is about the minimum time I like to wait between upgrading my phones. I make sure I send them back for recycling. I would rather that my phone lasts a lot longer. But I've been thinking about appliances this week, partly because the refrigerator that we purchased when we bought the house in 2019 is starting to show signs that it's not well. In addition to plastic pieces breaking inside, which are just cosmetic, uh, the ice maker has stopped working, other things have stopped working, and it started to give me those signs that perhaps it's going to need replacing soon. And this is a refrigerator that we bought in 2019. It is now 2024, so it's lasted five years. We're not hard on our appliances or our refrigerator, um, but I don't really relish the thought of buying a new one anytime soon. Uh, since we've lived here, we're on our second dishwasher in five years, which is ludicrous. Um, I think the best dishwasher is the one you don't have. Uh, if you can survive without a dishwasher, great. But I also know that a lot of people are, are so busy as we are, that, uh, you know, having a dishwasher is a useful appliance and we run it kind of once a day and we try and be as mindful about our, our dish use and, and stuff so we don't use a lot of unnecessary cutlery and dishes when we're cooking. But I was talking to someone recently uh, at Everything Electric who helped them their parents put a dishwasher in. Goodness. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing from the cold. Um, helped put a dishwasher in in the 1970s, I believe they said. And it was still working when the house was sold a few years ago. I recently had a 1970s record player serviced by a lovely shop here in Portland. Um, and I asked them, you know, what's the service interval for the record player? And they went every, every 25 years or so. So it was the, the record player's first service. It had stopped working. It was a fully automatic record player that my wife had purchased for me, I think for my 24th or 25th birthday. Um, so we've had it 20 years and it's finally stopped working completely. So we sent it off to uh, a good independent repair shop in Portland. They took it apart, they serviced it, and it now works better than it's ever worked before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, today, I want to know from you what your expectations are when it comes to how long things should last, whether it's a car, whether it's a mobile phone, whether it is a computer, whether it is a, a, a piece of kitchen furniture, so like a stove or a refrigerator or a dishwasher or a washing machine even. What are your expectations in terms of how long those things should last before you are then happy about buying something new. Now for, 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 my, uh, for me, I think 
10 years is about, about okay, right? So if I have to buy a new washing machine every 10 years or so, I, I can live with that. 10 years, we've got some pretty hard water up here. So yeah, all right, 10 years is fine. Uh, anything less than that, and I, I feel a bit cheated, especially when you consider that a lot of modern uh, dishwashers and whatnot are kind of expensive. And here comes Erin. <coughs> because, you know, it's noisy and uh, I'm just going to wait for her to come in. There'll be a slight pause. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. She's going to plug her car in now. She's clearly happy she's got the week off uh, next week. She's got the holiday vibes already. I, I think that's how I would feel if I, if I had some time off. But anyway, let me know in the comments below how long is considered sensible before you want you know, you want someone to give you a refund or, or a free repair on stuff. Is it five years? Is it 10 years? Is it longer? As a, an example, uh, I have a 2008 and a 2009 XServe in our server room that we still use to this day. This week, we put the latest Mac OS on it and they work just fine, <laughs> which I think is incredible, right? So those computers are 2008, they are 15 years old. Uh, one is 15 and one is 14 and it still works and it still runs the latest operating system. But my Apple uh, iMac Pro from 2017 is starting to show its age and doesn't want to work properly. So uh, that says a lot about Apple's um, changes of priorities over the years, right Apple? Anyway, leave your thoughts in the down below. I will be back next week, hopefully with less of a cough and I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me today. And if you've got thoughts, make sure you leave them in our Discord chat room, our Patreon page, our YouTube comment section, or you can reach out to us on Mastodon. Thanks to the amazing list of people scrolling by on your screen right now. They are some of the more than 1,500 people who help make this channel possible through Patreon and YouTube, covering our bills, paying our team, and making sure that we can remain 100% independent. If you'd like to join them and see your name listed here, just follow the links below. There are a range of different tiers you can sign up for from as little as $1 a month, or if you pay yearly, around $10.08 a year. A massive welcome to our newest supporters, Bree Crockford, CAP, Christian Balal, Everything on a Buy Bagel, Pidge Eon, and Brett Chandler. To join the list and get your shout out, become a paid Patreon member for your moment of fame. If you'd like to support us with a one-off donation, you'll find links below for Ko-fi and Bitcoin donations. And we even have a good old fashioned PO box you can reach us at, the address for which you'll also find below. And if you're in need of some swag, do check out our swag store in the down below. We've got some fantastic content coming right up, so make sure you're subscribed on Peertube or YouTube, and we'll see you soon. As a reminder, we make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want more, the almighty algorithm thinks you might enjoy this video, but what does it know? We think this one is also well worth a look. See you soon, and as always, keep evolving. <laughs>